Hi guys, so we're going to do a review today. Um, I'm going to review this catwalk plate, um, Moira. Uh, it's plate 30 and it's new to me and I just, uh, I'm thinking it's really gorgeous. So I love their jackets always. Um, I love the graphics on it. It's just so beautiful. Easier to find a plate, you know, when you're looking for a specific kind. Um, and this little blue thing came on it too, blue film that I already took off. This is the plate, so, so gorgeous. Just love it. Um, and it's, you know, all to do with fashion, um, the runway um, and sewing things like that. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to um, sample out a couple of these. So so first we're going to do this one here. I love this image. It's so gorgeous. Beautiful umbrellas. Just so pretty. We're going to do this one first. Um, and then we're probably going to do this one next. I love this one too. Gorgeous. Uh, on the runway. Um, and then this, I think we'll do this zebra one really pretty um, third and then fourth we'll probably do this one this one's like a real pretty damask and it's got it says style inside these so let's go ahead and start swatching um, all right so first we're going to do the umbrellas and i've already prepared the nails and put some mat on it so i'm going to use my maniology straight up black and my Big Bling Clear Jelly Stamper that has seen better days, but it works great still. And my Maniology Scraper, my favorites. So anyway, let's get going. So just, you know, as you usually stamp, put your stamping polish on here. Now, I will say that you do definitely want a good stamping polish that has plenty of pigment. And you want to make sure that you have a really good stamper and okay that wasn't like oh there we go let's get off what we don't want here so there's how that looks really pretty and we're going to go ahead and we're going to put that on here i'll uh, probably just going to do it upside down for you okay so there we go and we're just going to roll from one side to the next and we'll turn it over and let me see. Yes, beautiful. I just love that. I can't wait to do a Manny with this. So going to be a lot of fun. So anyway, there's one. We're going to let it dry before we put anything on it. And then the next one we're going to do, let me clean off my stamper, my lint roller. The next one we're going to do is um, the secret it says secret one runway on here so like I showed you before the stockings and everything really fun and cute so let's go ahead and do her so the only thing I noticed you know um, I just love the images on here it's gorgeous I can't wait to do Manny's using this so beautiful it's so girly um, and just fun and if you're into sewing then there's lots of cute images on here for that too um, so if I could change anything about this plate it would probably be just I wish it was etched a little deeper on some of the really fine lines because some of these images have super fine lines um, and luckily it still picked up really great um, and so I'm going to go ahead and place the legs on there first or at least as a priority and we'll roll from side to side there we are and let me see so anyway really pretty I just love that so secret run runway is what it says over there so I guess I could have pulled it over a little more this way maybe I didn't really want to lose the high heels though that's so cute anyway okay so let me kind of press down the little squirrelies really cute is on the side and see if I can get some of that that little spot of black that I off of there okay so the next one that we're gonna do is we're gonna do this zebra looking 
um, one. It's got kind of a like a little, uh, wait, where am I? Here, a little lace edge on it. And um, the lace edge, so actually what it says, I think it's actually supposed to probably be this way, but it says uh, custom, let me see, custom collection, I think is what it says. No, cruise collection, sorry. So in tiny little words along here, it says cruise collection. So let's go ahead and do that and get our straight up black on here. This one we're going to do on a real pretty kind of greenish color. Oops. Wipe off your stamper really quick. Hopefully I didn't wait too long. Okay, got it. Awesome. Take off what I don't want. There's that. Okay. And I think I'm going to have to look at it this way because whenever you're, even though they're not straight lines, I don't want to make them look, you know, too cattywampus. Okay, so hopefully you can see that good. Maybe I should pull it back a little bit. Does that help? Let me see if I can kind of pat the sides to it. So let me see how I got that. I think it's pretty good. I don't, I don't, we didn't say that I got a perfect stamp, but I think it's pretty, pretty good. Pretty, real pretty image. I just love that. That's going to be a lot of fun. To do a mani with. Okay, and then this one we're going to do for our last uh, little sample nail. We're going to do this, uh, the one that looks like it's kind of like damask and it says style. Little inside these little things it says style, little words. Okay. There's so many pretty ones on here. Okay. So let me get this black on here. And then we'll go ahead and scrape it. And darn it, I did it again. Okay. And roll. Let me get off the excess that we don't want. Okay, now this is going to be a you know more regular size nail because I've been doing the big stilettos. That looks really good. Um, and so we're just going to go ahead and let me try it your way. Okay, so we just press. And then roll gently from side to side and kind of press down those. And there's that one. Really pretty. Oh yeah, that's a really pretty. It'll be fun. Fun mani too. Okay, so we're gonna let this dry for a minute. And and then the only thing else I would do is just use Maniology Smudge Free Top Coat. And by the way, I'm going to put um, my discount code for Maniology also in the info box along with what I, all the everything I'm using here for this. So I want to show you on the rest of it, I also stamped them out on this. And this is all of the images. So this is one of them that, uh, like this part, no problem stamping this, but as you can see, it's a little bit, you know, lighter on this side. So really super fine lines. This one was, uh, sh felt real shallow. Um, it's still a beautiful image, and maybe I can get it even better than that. But um, you definitely, if you have a problem the first time, make sure that you've cleaned your, you know, plate clean your plate really good, especially if you have already stamped an image and then you go to do another image, you know, another stamp over of this. I don't know that you're going to be able to do that with this image because it is really shallow and it has fine lines. You might have to clean it each time. So anyway, here's a really pretty, that's beautiful, real beautiful image um, right there. And then that is gorgeous. Love that. It's kind of lacy looking. And these are dress forms. Really cute. And then high heels, love that. Um, okay, so let's go back to the bottom row now, over here. So just different sewing stuff and, and you know, bra, girdle, zippers, tags. Um, here's some more high heels, uh, really cute. I forgot what it says on that one. This one just says, you know, like fashion, fall collection, New York, you know, that kind of thing, those are really cute. 
Um, and there's the one that we just stamped that says style in it, kind of a damask looking one. Now this one, I thought it was a, like the back of a girl, but I see no neck or arms or anything. So I'm going to take a guess because I don't know for sure that, that this is a beautiful dress, maybe a wedding dress and a veil um, and in a window, like a shop window. These look like lacy curtains. Anyway, it's beautiful, whatever it is. So, and then let's see, let's go down here. So these are really cute. So this is like makeup. And then we've got sewing, it's different stitches. And you could isolate these stitches if you wanted to, to put across, you know, the bottom of a nail or something like that, or for a French. There's that real pretty zebra one we did. There's the other one that we did, the runway one, secret runway, really pretty. That one we did, that one's beautiful with those umbrellas, love that. And then down here is some, some you know, models, runway models, and some handbags, real cute. And this is adorable, I love this. Um, this one is, you, if, you can, if you can't stop thinking about it, then buy it. If you can't stop thinking about it, buy it. I love that. It's adorable. Here's some safety pins. This is like, I, I, you know, I don't know. It's on, I think it's either on tags or on material. I'm not sure if it's for the manufacturer. I, I don't know. But anyway, I've seen those before. I'm sure you have too. So over here is a bunch of sewing stuff. Really cute. Buttons and stuff like that. And it does have like a little break. There's like a stitching around the edge. It has a little break in one spot. But I think the deal is it starts here. I think it's like thread on a needle and then it sews that way up and around and down and it stops right about here and that's on purpose so and then this one just says sale 50% off and I think that's it so just beautiful beautiful image and so uh, that again was the Moira catwalk and it's the plate number 30 and I'll show you our sample nails once again. And so the only thing, like I said, that I would do now is I would just use the Maniology Smudge Free Top Coat. So let's go ahead and do that on one of these. How about the first one? And we'll just do that real quick. You can get a generous amount. I just go down the middle and to the side and to the side and there you go no smudging beautiful love this my favorite top coat for stamping so um, it dries real quick also and if you're worried about you know if you if you're real tough on your nails and you're worried about it you can always put a you know after this dries you can put a top your regular top coat you know that you have or quick dry or whatever so anyway those are our sample nails and i hope you have a blast get this plate and have fun with it. So thanks so much for watching. I have some more reviews coming. So please click on the bell icon um, at the top and also please click su subscribe and like. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Bye bye guys.